Here to provide even more updates on the Trump campaign's efforts to restore election integrity, the attorney for the president, Rudy Giuliani. All right, let, let's start in Nevada, where we're just talking to your attorney out there. Yeah, a shame. Already, I mean, I went through the numbers, uh, 130,000 votes identified. I mean, we're not talking 42,000 people voting twice, 23,000 votes out of state. If that would be ineligible, 44,000 ballots cast from non-existent or commercial addresses, 1,500 votes of people not alive. Now, the judge chose, chose not to talk to the witnesses. Now, you have the next, you bring in your appeal to the next court. But to me, when you have all these affidavits of hundreds and hundreds of people, you've identified all of these cases of people that shouldn't vote. And in every case from Wisconsin to Pennsylvania to Arizona to Georgia uh, and, and Michigan, you, you, we're talking about enough votes to overturn the election. Uh, you gotta have to ha you're going to have to some have some judicial relief in this. You are. I mean, you are, uh, uh, Sean, but the reality is the judge has completely uh, changed the law. He's created a fantasy out of the law. When you bring allegations in a civil complaint on a motion to dismiss, the judge has to assume that your allegations are true and correct. He did just the opposite. He has no right to do that. Now, we can get him reversed, but he's accomplished what he wants to accomplish. He's delayed things. And I, I'm sorry to say he's a Democrat. And you can't tell me he made this decision based on his legal knowledge unless he really didn't go to law school. On a motion to dismiss, you have to assume that every allegation we make is true and then say, if it's true, it doesn't violate the law. Later on, you get to make a motion for summary judgment where you challenge the facts. But we get a chance for a hearing. The reason I went to the state legislatures, Sean, is because I saw what the courts were doing. And I wanted to go around them so the facts could get out. I, a Georgia court wouldn't have, wouldn't have allowed us to put those witnesses on. The legislature did it. In Michigan, the same thing. We had two Democrat judges, and they weren't allowing us to put witnesses on. But I was able to get some of the witnesses you see there because I went to the legislature. Now, the simple fact is we don't need courts. The United States Constitution gives sole power to the state legislature to decide presidential elections. In fact, if we go back to the founding fathers, they would tell us we're making a mistake. This should be thrown right to the House, House of Representatives and the, Senate, and, and, the, and the Senate in each state. And they should hold hearings. They should make factual determinations. And they should decide what the right voter count is. So you look at Georgia, they're already there. I mean, that tape yesterday was dynamite. That tape alone represents theft of more than enough votes to turn the election around. All right, Mr. Mayor. Thank